ぞのしさ私だけのものにしてあげるずっと私を追ってるわね Greetings, everyone. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the newest character release with the Ballad of Chaos update, Katya Klein. Katya Klein is a Frost DPS unit. She wields a new weapon type in the form of a crossbow and excels at dealing with both single and multi target scenarios. Her crossbow has the benefit of not having to consume ammo and almost unlimited range, however, it is unable to land precision hits. By pressing the reload button, The bow's fire mode can be changed between two modes single bolt mode, where it fires one bolt at a time, and multi bolt mode, where it fires multiple bolts in a horizontal formation, allowing you to hit multiple targets at the same time. Her standard skill, Death Traverser, allows her to enter the Guidance 3 form. While in the Guidance 3 form, she gains increased resistance to interruption, increased fire rate for both single bolt and multi bolt mode, and is unable to move or gain S energy. She will instead lose 0.5 S energy for every shot she fires in the form. In addition, while in guidance mode, her shots will do 48% less damage to enemies, 50% less damage to destructible objects, and gain ultimate energy 25% slower. When her S energy reserve reaches zero, or she activate her dodge skill, guidance three form will end. Her neuronic skills for Death Traverser will allow her to reset the cooldown of Death Traverser if she exits Guidance 3 form by using a dodge. When she is equipped with a Frost weapon, dealing damage outside of Guidance mode will grant her 2S energy per shot. Her support skill Explosive Envoy Fire a Frost arrow at the targets in front of her. Any targets hit by this attack will become frozen for 3 seconds. The Neuronics upgrades will allow Explosive Envoy to negate the effects of enemy crowd controls like Stun and Freeze, among others, and increase the explosive radius of Explosive Envoy by 50%. With a low 15 seconds cooldown, and even less if you run a couple skill haste in talent, this ability isn't half bad. Her ultimate, Eloquent Arrows, rains down a guileful barrage of tracking bolts on the targets. The attack itself is fairly weak, but it has a low cooldown and decent CC capabilities. The Neuronics upgrades will allow the barrage to inflict slow on the targets, freeze at a faster interval, and increase the duration of the freeze effect. And lastly, her passive, Legacy of Cunning, grants each shot she fires a 35% chance to deal additional damage. This damage is increased by an additional 7% for each 100 alignment index she possesses. Since both her support skill and ultimate are pretty tamed, It's pretty safe to say most of her damage capabilities are tied to her standard skill. Even though she can't crit, having unlimited ammo and no reload, an increased fire rate and heavy resistance to interruption more than makes up for the downsides to using her standard skill. Her gameplay loop is pretty simple cast standard skill and just hold down the trigger. If you need to move, use your dodge skill to reset the cooldown of your standard skill, then cast your standard again and continue spraying. Rinse and repeat. We usually wouldn't recommend going for character dupes on this channel, but this is Snowbreak, and limited banner units are farmable. For manifestations, both M1 and M2 are pretty great pickups for her. M1 will give her a nice DPS increase by increasing her fire rate, and M2 will allow her to deal more damage to destructible items. She will also gain bonus S energy for hits on destructible items, which feeds back into her M1. When it comes to weapons, we only have two choices. Neptune's Nova is going to be her best in slot premium option. Its perk, Perpetual Revolution, will increase her personal damage by quite a bit and increase her S energy efficiency, which feed back into her standard skills uptime. Our free to play option, Alpine Gentian, is also more than serviceable. Although it doesn't help her with her S energy efficiency like Neptune, it does provide her with extra personal damage, albeit. It takes a second to ramp up. The new Eli squad was tailor made for her, providing a 20% attack boost on the two piece and up to 60% bonus frost damage. For talents, go for attack, S energy recovery, alignment index, and frost damage. When it comes to teammates, we have a few options. To amplify her damage, our first choice is Acacia Kaguya, equipped with either her signature weapon or Ai Yai Captain. Even if she doesn't have one of the weapons mentioned, she will still be a solid pick due to her all type resistance shred. The next one is Shadow K Muxir. Landing shots with Katya shouldn't be an issue, but Muxir will guarantee all your shots land, 
in addition to massively buffing your outgoing damage. Even though she isn't affected by fire rate effects in Guidance 3 form, Fenny Coronet's fire rate increase buff is still very useful, allowing her to maintain the high fire rate while waiting for her S energy to recover. Shielders like Cyrus, or better yet, Fritja Hush Equip with Strawberry Shortcake can provide her with a shield and grants a nice attack buff to boot. If you want to utilize her ultimate more, Tess the Magician will allow you to do just that. And of course, healers like Yao Quiet Quitter and Chengxing the Observer are always welcome. In closing, Blue Bolt Katya is a pretty good addition to the roster. She's by no means the strongest around, but her damage is quite decent. Couple that with some of the best animations we've seen so far, and you got yourself a fan favorite. Before I leave you, there are three issues I'd like to bring up. The first might just be skill issue, but I find myself constantly swapping her weapon's fire mode by accident. I think the prompt for that should be a hold instead of a simple press. Using her standard skill in close quarter combat can be a bit clunky due to camera issues. And lastly, her ultimate doesn't always track, or rather, the tracking will cease after the initial target is defeated. Hard to say if this is intentional or a bug. Maybe some of you are having the same issues, so I thought I'd share. And that will conclude our Katja Klein guide. If you made it this far, consider leaving a like to feed the algorithm and subscribe for more guides like this. Until we meet again, friends. Vitality. 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 Vitality.